Hey everyone, today we're going to have our first look at Adobe's new feature, which is called Generative Extend. I want to talk about three things. What is Generative Extend? How you can access Generative Extend? And how does it work? So let's go ahead and see what this is about. Firstly, what is Generative Extend? Adobe presents this to be a new editing tool, which is basically allowing you to extend your clips with the power of their generative AI. It allows users to extend both video and audio. How do you access this new feature? Currently, at the time of this recording, it's only available in Adobe Premiere Pro Beta. So in order to access that, you're going to need a Creative Cloud subscription. In the Creative Cloud app, you're going to have to go to Apps and then select Beta and make sure you install Premiere Pro Beta on your computer. I already have it installed. This is why it says Open here and now it's time for us to have a look at how this actually works in adobe premiere pro beta go ahead and import the media footage drag it to our timeline and then here we're going to select this tool called generative extend now we have to select the end part of our clip and then using this tool we can make it longer now it says generating and it's actually going to take us quite a while for this to be ready so in the meantime i got to talk to you about some of the errors you might encounter these are some of the errors that i've encountered while i was just trying to figure out how this works and i was just testing this quite a lot of errors which hopefully will be resolved in the upcoming versions of this feature so basically you can only use 1080p or 720p footage remember the size of the clip not the size of the sequence which is basically 169 aspect ratio you're not able to make vertical videos longer you're limited to 30 fps 8 bit sdr you can't extend music so only sound effects the audio has to be longer than three seconds and you won't be able to extend your video for more than two seconds that's not a lot really you have to wait about two minutes for two seconds of footage so all we can currently do is hope for this to be better in the future and now i've tested this on multiple videos some of the results were really good some of them were not so good i like how it's actually detecting the motion as well so basically when i zoom out it continues to zoom out when i have some kind of motion there it's continuing i tried making the audio of some metro sounds longer it said that it's music so the audio extension feature definitely needs more improvement but so far i think it's a pretty promising tool but with this one you can definitely create transitions the way you want but overall i can't wait to see a future version of this tool and include it in my workflow that was pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what do you think about this new feature and also if you have ideas for the next videos share that with us down below make sure you subscribe like all that good stuff see you in the next one